My name is Amanda Jane Jones. I'm a graphic designer and children's book author and an illustrator, and I'm here with Design Milk for DMTV Milkshake. Thank you for having me. A little background on me. I'm a freelancer. I do specifically books, cookbooks, magazines, also branding, pattern design, and product design. I was one of the co-founders of Kinfolk Magazine and also Define Magazine, and I have three children's books out, Yum Yum Yuck, The Hair Book, which I wrote with Latonya Yvette, and a follow-up to Yum Yum Yuck is called Fuzzy Furry Ouch, out in November. Yeah, let's dive in! Okay, how would you describe your work to a stranger? Ooh, I love simple design, a mix of modern and classic and playful, and always with a pop of color. How does your work shift when you're designing for children? A lot, <laughs> actually, um, but it's so fun and so playful and colorful, and it has reminded me not to take myself so seriously. After 13 issues with Kinfolk, I was kind of in a design box, and all of my clients came to me for the Kinfolk aesthetic, which I loved and I'm so grateful for. Um, but I've, I've been doing that for so long, that I just kind of yearned for more color and something more fun, which matched my current lifestyle with my kids. I still do both, but what's fun about design is that your style can be ever-changing. Just like fashion or interior design, you don't have to put yourself in a box if you don't want to. I can still have my serious side and also illustrate boogers for kids' books. <laughs> I can have both. <laughs> what was it like watching the Kinfolk aesthetic take over the world? <laughs> it was pretty surreal. We designed it to be completely different from most magazine experiences on the market. Um, back then they were really busy with lots of ads. We decided to take a very minimal approach with a lot of white space, more like a book feel. And I remember designing the first issues and thinking, my design professors are going to hate this, <laughs> but it worked. And it really resonated with people and took off really fast. We learned a lot along the way. We made a lot of mistakes. Um, but that's just part of starting something new. Last one, you've created so many beautiful pages and products and spaces. What advice would you give to someone looking to do the same? Any ideas you can share? Oh, that's really nice, thank you. Yes, so I always tell people that there's always room for you. The art space can feel very saturated right now, but there's only one you. And if you work hard, you can carve out a space for yourself that's uniquely your own. Next, I always say you're never too old to be an intern. I'm not ashamed to admit that I've been an intern four times since graduation. I feel like learning from people who are doing exactly what I wanted to be doing was the biggest turning point in my career. There's nothing like real world training. To me, it's priceless. And set boundaries for yourself. You need to take care of yourself and your relationship. I have many identities. I'm a mom, I am a designer, and trying to find that balance is constant. <laughs> it's never perfect. Being a mom makes me a better designer, and I'm a better mom when I take time to design and create my art. It's not all or nothing. And that's it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Design Milk, for having me.